hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you guys for stopping by if it's your first time on this channel my name is Judita and you are welcome to JD's kitchen today I'm going to share with you guys a video you never knew you needed another one okay I'm always coming up with videos that I know you guys need but you don't know that you need so today I'm going to share with you guys 40 different Cameroonian meals that you can cook for 40 days without repeating that's every day for 40 days you you can cook different meals and these are all Cameroonian delicacies I did a video sometime last year or two years ago on my main youtube channel which is journey with Judita I have a vlog channel where I share lifestyle content and I did a video on there and you guys the people on there appreciated it so much so I'm believing that you guys are going to appreciate this one you can literally cook a different Cameroonian meal every day for 40 whole days this is going to help you if you're one of those people who are always thinking what do i cook what do i not cook what do i cook what do i not cook this video is for you let's jump right into the video so i have a list here so if you see me looking down i'm looking at my list so the first one is going to be granola soup okay granola soup you can cook with rice you can cook with plantain you can cook with gari i think people eat granola soup with so many different things with bread sleeping granola soup and block it or kumba bread check it try it and tell me later come back to this comment section and leave how it turned out how it tasted the second one is going to be porridge yam as you watch this video you can go ahead and make your meal plan for the week this week okay you can decide to go ahead and create a list of meals that you're going to cook for this week and you can always come back to this video whenever you feel stuck okay i'm here for you this video is always going to be here so the next one is going to be porridge yam or turning yam you can cook it in different variations you can cook it in pepper soup you can cook it with red oil and put a bit of vegetable i have a recipe on my channel you can check out that recipe i would leave it maybe i cannot leave all the recipes of everything here a lot of these meals that i'm going to share today i have the recipes on this channel already if i do not have then i am going to have so you can definitely scroll through my videos and you'll find recipes should in case you don't know how to cook porridge yam find the recipe on this channel the next meal is going to be jollof rice who does not cook jollof rice i feel like we abuse jollof rice a lot so sometimes in your house you want to jello fries aside and cook it maybe after a month and then everybody is going to like enjoy it everybody would have missed it or if you're cooking jello fries maybe you can make like some salad at the side or some plantain recently my kids started rejecting jello fries if it doesn't come with something like banana or pear or just something soft like my son will say mommy i don't want this one i want the other kind of rice that has the sauce on it so he's rejecting jello fries and maybe preferring boiled rice with sauce i think maybe it feels dry so you might want to consider always so you might want to consider always making jello fries with something at the side like fried cabbage or so or so on to the next I have the fourth one which is going to be banga soup and kwakuko kwakuko and banga soup i'm a bakery girl so i cannot make a list of 40 Cameroonian meals without adding kwakuko and banga soup you simply need your kukoyam your banga i'm going to definitely film a recipe for that on this channel we do not have a recipe as at now but i think if you're watching the video in 2023 mid 2023 we should have had a recipe on this channel so check it out the next one is going to be rice again but this time I'm talking about our grandmother's kind of rice, janga rice, not this our modern jollof that we put green beans, carrots, uh, sweet corn, uh, bacon, all those things. Uh -uh. I'm talking about janga rice. You know that rice that they use just like four ingredients to make that is so delicious that you can sleep and have a dream about. That's the rice I'm talking about. You can use red oil especially to make this rice, and it's so delicious. So if your kids or if your family is tired of having the regular the jello fries that we know now you can go ahead and make janga rice okay janga rice crayfish rice janga is crayfish okay so the next one is going to be kwakuku bible i earlier on spoke about kwakuku and mangasu so the next one is going to be kwakuku bible i have a recipe already on the channel i have a video where i shared with you guys things that you should not put in your kwakuku bible check out that video it's going to help you if you want to make this i hope you're making your list of what you're going to cook this week as i share the various meals the next one is going to be koki corn i think we're on the sixth no on the seventh the next one is going to be koki corn okay um this one i would say that you should make it more when it's corn season because during corn season you can easily get fresh corn and it's nicer when you use fresh corn i think they don't even make koki corn without fresh corn so when it's corn season you want to make koki corn if you like koki corn a lot you can blend a lot of corn and keep in your freezer you can keep for a period of six months and you can make koki corn even when it's 
not come season okay the next one on our list is going to be cookie beans so you will notice that i will speak about meals that are close to each other so i'm talking about the cookies now so i've spoken about cookie corn and now we have cookie beans okay you can make cookie beans you can have it with plantain yam sweet potato oh my god i'm just imagining we do not have a recipe on the channel yet but we are going to have a recipe soon the next meal which is our ninth is going to have to be fried red kidney beans okay this one i think every Cameroonian family enjoys this i enjoy it a lot i can eat sleeping beans like i can eat beans today tomorrow next week in short i can eat beans beans is like arrow for me like i can eat it back to back to back okay so you can add beans to that timetable that you're making right now you maybe you need to cook beans on friday what do you think okay so beans is the next meal you can have it with puff puff with dodo with rice with plantain with yeah like you can have beans with everything okay the next one on our list is going to be fried white beans you guys notice that we are following a certain chronology white beans you can make white beans or black beans even now i'm not going to call black beans as another meal because that's going to be a lot of but yeah you can make white beans black beans red beans and i think it's good to alternate like if you make black beans this week you might want to try white beans next week so it's not going to feel like oh we're just eating beans it's going to feel like something different and i believe that they do have different nutrients in them the next uh, meal we're going to talk about is corn chaff the honorable corn chaff like corn chaff was saving lives of people who went to boarding school like i know that people who went to boarding school always talk about how they used to give them corn chaff and um, for some people it used to be corn chaff and spice with weevils for some <laughs> I know that weevils is a part of your corn chaff you were eating. So corn chaff is one of the meals you want to put on your list for maybe next week, not this week, because remember on Friday you're cooking beans. <laughs> okay, so the next one, which is our 12th, is going to be tomato sauce, okay, aka stew. This was, I think, the one of the favorite meals for Christmas, chicken stew when I was growing up. But I feel like chicken has become so common, stew, like people just cook it regularly, so it's not special anymore. But yeah, you can make stew, you can add stew to that timetable. Um, the next one, which is a 13th, almighty fufu and eru. Like, I feel like every tribe in Cameroon, it cuts across like everywhere people love fufu and eru. The funny thing is, people cook it in different ways. Like I remember my husband traveling to the north, and he wanted to get fufu and eru to eat and he asked the lady what she put and she started by naming i think onion garlic i was like eh, well, this is not fufu and okra <laughs> fufu and eru sorry so uh yeah people cook it different ways but when you eat the authentic fufu and eru from the people who call it their traditional meal i think it's the bayangi people you will know that you are eating eru the next one which is our 14th meal is going to be fufu and okra or dairy and okra so the meal is actually okra but now you can have it with what um rice you can have it with fufu you can have it with dairy you can actually make fufu rice if you have a small baby i have a six month old so that's why i'm talking about this if you have um, a small baby you can make fufu rice you can make fufu plantain you can make you can just make soft things and okra is actually one of babies their favorite uh, meals so you want to consider that the next one, the next meal is going to be ndole. You guys, I love, love, love ndole. You can have ndole with. I think the way I cook ndole is not the authentic way that they. Is it the um, ndole? Is it from the Basa people? I don't know. Leave in the comment section if you know what region of Cameroon um, they cook ndole as their traditional meal. But yeah, they do it so well. I even, I don't even know how to do it. I think I would like to follow a recipe from someone from that region and then try to reciprocate on my channel. I have my own recipe already on the channel. If you're interested, you can check it out because it's yummy the next meal i'm going to talk about is okumobong vegetable oh my god growing up i did not like anything that had a goosey i did not like a goosey soup but i found that i really love it now maybe because i'm so conscious of the nutrients that is packed with but okumobong vegetable that we make with a goosey is a very regular meal in my house you want to add it to that timetable are you still writing i hope you're still writing <laughs> okay the next meal we're on our 17th meal and now we are talking ekwang ekwang is a delicious cameroonian traditional food okay it's made with coco yam if you don't know ekwang you want to check i have a recipe on this channel i have lots of recipes on here so you want to check out the recipe of ekwang on this channel and make it for your family this week or next week uh no i would say next week because this week we have beans we have stew so next week write ekwang on that list <laughs> the next one is um turning plantain okay uh, i think we've gotten to the turning things we earlier on mentioned turning yam so now now we are talking about turning plantain which is our 18th dish so we are moving forward turning plantain like porridge plantain 
very yummy delicious you can add a little bit of ripe plantain there i have a recipe on this channel check it out the next one is going to be turning coco yam similar to turning plantain if you watch my turning yam uh, recipe video you just carry all the ingredients and put it in your coco yam you have your turning coco yam <laughs> the next one is going to be fufu corn and vegetable with katsi katsi oh my god there's a recipe online i i, I always like to eat katsi katsi when it's made by somebody from the northwest because it has the northwest flavor like there's something about it you would know that this katsi katsi is not counterfeit it's the original so i always like it when somebody from the northwest makes it they have a way of doing it that is just so yummy even when they when they make it like once you enter the house you know that something is happening they have made something here the next one is going to be achu okay we've gone to the northwest region i love achu a lot i make it i make very small quantities because just me and tati we eat it in my house and it's very delicious i love especially the soup and the ingredients and the particles that come in the soup i love it um the next one is going to be pepper soup i do not how do i why do i not have a pepper soup recipe and why have i not made an achu soup recipe all of those are coming up on this channel latest mid of this year 2023 okay so if you're watching this video in 2024 2025 2026 check it you'll find the actual, actual soup recipe on this channel the next one which is our 23rd cameroonian food you want to have on your food timetable is going to be mbongo chobi okay it's going to be mbongo chobi people eat it with plantain maybe ripe plantain maybe on rye maybe coco yam whatever it is your preference fufu pounded pounded coco yam whatever it is you prefer i actually don't know where this traditional meal is coming from and i have never have i made it i think my mom used to make it but i've never made it i need to learn it make it a couple of times see my mistakes and then make it again make it again and then when i'm confident enough i will do a recipe for you guys um we are on to our 24th meal jangsan sauce okay jangsan sauce and shrotas jangsan sauce and some delicious thick fish make jangsan sauce for your family this week okay consider that jangsan sauce and chicken now there are some things that i feel like growing up i always just assume that jangsan sauce has to have the fish but i'm realizing that there are some things you can put in different meals like especially meals that maybe your household does not like i realized that there was a day my mom made um a goosey soup like the way she made that goosey i need to do a recipe for you guys i will, i ate it my kids ate it she made it with chicken it was so yummy like change the protein you put in your meals to make your family excited like if you come if you always put just fish try to do chicken try to do something else and see what happens maybe there's a magic in that who knows the next meal on our list is going to be pom pile i'm not very familiar with pom pile but i think i've eaten it there was a time when i lived in bamenda and our neighbors were from the french speaking part i think they were bamelike people and they used to make um pom pile i think it's pounded i think it's pounded potato and beans Correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comment section. So the 26th meal on our list is going to be a goosey pudding. And a goosey pudding is not commonly eaten like a meal at home. And I think that is something that we should try to incorporate. Like don't always make the regular regular. A goosey pudding is very healthy and it's something that you can try to incorporate and just say, okay, for me, I make a lot of granola paste. I think I've skipped. I don't know if I have granola paste even on this list. So you guys see that if there are some meals that are not on this list, it means that Cameroon is so blessed with food because how can I give you guys 40 Cameroonian meals that you can cook for 40 days? And I'm still thinking that there are some things I've not put on the list. So you can imagine, we can actually get to 60 if we push, if we dig deep, like go to the northern parts of Cameroon and try to check like some other kinds of meals. Anyways, yeah, let's stick to our list. So we want to try to make a goosey pudding for your family. Most times people use this as side dishes in events where they make a goosey pudding, they cut and put on trays and then people just pick and bite. So yummy, you put dry meat in it. I have a recipe on this channel. Please check it out and make sure you add this to your list at least maybe once a month or if it's too much, once in two months, make a goosey pudding for your family. Or you can even make it and keep it in the freezer, make a, a, a lot of it, a big batch of it. And then on a day when maybe you're having jollof rice, you take out maybe it, some pieces or maybe like two and cut and then some people have like a goosey on their plates so that you feel like you have gone for a party you know how you go for a party you have a goosey you have salad all of i'm talking too much the next one on our list is going to be spaghetti saute this one is a meal that i think you should make on a day when you just don't want to stress maybe there's food in the freezer but you guys don't want to eat what's in the freezer you just want something fresh just whip up some spaghetti saute you can also make it in the form of omelette 
depending on how you prefer it and you can spice up your spaghetti in different ways you can make it with chicken you can use um red meat you can use fish you can use sardine you can use egg whatever you prefer you can put some carrots green peppers i don't put green peppers because i don't know my taste but i should try to start incorporating that into my meals but i'll see yeah so um spaghetti saute the 28th is going to be fried green okay green is a vegetable it grows very widely like you go to sometimes to people's compounds you see green everywhere so yeah green is one of the vegetables that you want to you want to add or you want to put as um as part of your meals okay you can have green with sweet potato you can have it with rice with plantain it's something i didn't like growing up but now i think i eat food not based on oh my mouth is happy to eat it but because i know it's healthy so the next one 29 you guys were getting close to 40 okay 29 um you have a goosey stew you can eat a goosey stew with ripe plantain with yam okay the next one is going to be almighty hot pots hot pots irish potato you make it in a different kind of way not turning irish potato see there's a difference between turning irish potato and hot pot okay hot pot is rich hot pot is bougie <laughs> so yeah there's a difference um the next one is going to be pool fish like i always wonder how can you take plantain and make a soup and then you use the soup to eat with plantain see cameroon we have all kinds of food so pool fish is one of the meals you want to have on your list of meals i generally have never cooked it i don't think i like it i've never eaten it they brought it to me when I gave birth and I did not taste it, so I don't know, but I'm just dreading it. I don't know why, but I think one day I'll go ahead and taste more fish. Leave in the comment section, do you like it? Do you cook it? Um, do you cook it regularly? Leave it in the comment section. Um, the 32nd, okay, you guys were getting close to 40, is fried cabbage. You can have your fried cabbage with sweet potato, plantain. Now, you can make cabbage in so many different ways. You can add a goosey, you can add granite, or you can fry it um, with um, vegetables like carrots, um, green beans that's how i make my i have a recipe on this channel you can make it with liver i like to fry my cabbage with liver because i grew up seeing my mom do it that way you can eat with sweet potato plantain rice i've seen people eat it with gary but i think they eat it with gary when they make it soupy when they add like granuts and um, the goosey and all the rest um our 33rd is going to be in quick <laughs> i heard that it's good for breastfeeding mothers but i tried it you guys remember my neighbors in Bamenda? They made it one time, they gave me, and I could not eat it. The taste was not going. I know some people really love it, and I'm not saying that you should not love it. So, our 34th meal is going to be boiled cocoyam and vegetable. Boiled cocoyam, I think it's Ibo Coco. Um, I think the cocoyam that they used to make actually is called Ibo Coco. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's the cocoyam that is nice to boil and eat with vegetable. Okay, it's so yummy, especially when the cocoyam is dry inside. You eat it with um, a hokuberry or whatever vegetable you prefer, dole, um, okomobon, whatever you prefer, you can have your boiled cocoyam with it. Okay, the next one is banana malaxe. Banana malaxe is not something that I cook, it's not something I grew up eating, but whenever I have the opportunity to eat it, I would eat it. Um, our 30 seed meal is plantain pilet. Now, this is also not something you guys realize that these meals that I'm talking about now are meals that are more um, predominant in the French speaking part of Cameroon. So, these are not meals that I'm very familiar with. Okay, the next meal I'm going to talk about is going to be condre. That's how I hear people pronouncing it. I have never tasted it, but you can add that to your list if at all you know it and you love it. The next one is going to be roasted fish and bobolo. Like this is one of the uncommon things that I think people don't make a lot in their homes, but you can decide to incorporate it. If you cannot roast it, you can pan fry it and then you have that with bobolo and maybe pepper and some mayonnaise. The next one, which I think should be um, not the last. Okay, we have one more. Um, the fourth yet is going to be sweet yams and egg sauce sweet yam and egg sauce You can also eat garden egg sauce with plantain with I don't know if you can eat it with rice But leave in the comment section. What else can you have your garden egg sauce with so you guys we have come to the end of this video I feel like there's something I've not said I feel like there's a meal I've not spoken about but if you think that there's a meal I've not mentioned of course there will be meals I've not mentioned it's not Cameroonian meals we're talking about I think Cameroonian Cam I think Cameroon is one of the African countries with the most variety when it comes to food That's why we are called the, is it the food basket of Africa or is it Africa in miniature? Leave me in the comment section. Anything I not say right, come and correct me down there. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please share, share, please. Like, I don't ask you guys to share my videos a lot. So please, this particular one, I want you to share it because I want to help moms and just people who eat 
that's everybody any human being that eats Cameroonian food this video is going to help them please share it to them let them watch it let them uh, make their food timetable while watching this video um, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please do me well to subscribe like this video share it do everything okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye